7.4, number 6. Adding and subtracting rational expressions. We're going to do a few here in this video clip that have the same denominators. So first let's just remind ourselves what we want to do in arithmetic, or if we had no variables, if we were adding or subtracting some fractions. So let's say we had 5 over 6, take away 2 over 6. So we'd be subtracting two fractions with the same denominator, just like we have up here, same denominators. All we do is go right across and add or subtract the numerator, 5 minus 2, and keep the denominator. Okay, so that's add or subtract the numerator, keep the denominator, and that would give us 3 out of 6, and we would reduce that to 1 half. So we're going to use the same general rules here. So we're going to do add or subtract numerators. And then keep the denominator. And put it in lowest terms. And this is for when we have the same denominator to start with. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to rewrite the problem we're given. 9f plus 6g all over 6. Take away 6g, take away 9f all over 6. So we have a subtraction problem. So we're going to go ahead and subtract the numerators, 9f plus 6g, take away the entire numerator, and to remind myself that it's the entire thing being subtracted, I'm going to put parentheses. Otherwise, I might forget to distribute my negative sign. Keep the denominator. And then we go ahead and distribute. So we have 9f plus 6g, take away 6g plus 9f all over 6. 6g and minus 6g are gone. So that leaves us with 9f and 9f, which is 18f over 6. And then we want to reduce it. We can divide by 6, top and bottom, and we're left with 3f as the final answer. And that's number 6. So let's take a look at another one. Number 7. Again, same denominator here. So we're going to go right to add the numerators, keep the denominator. y squared plus 5y over y plus 5. Now we want to put it in lowest terms, and there's no combining like terms we can do, so we don't have to do anything there. But remember that lowest terms for a rational expression means you want to first factor and then cancel. So we never want to cancel before we do our factoring. So let's factor the numerator. We can pull out a GCF of y, and we have y times y plus 5 over the denominator of y plus 5. And now we can go ahead and cancel the common factor y plus 5. So our final answer there is a y. And let's try one more, 7.4, number 8. Again, we have common denominator already, so we're going to go right ahead and add across the top. x squared plus x take away 56 over the common denominator of x take away 7. And now we want to do lowest terms, so we want to factor, then cancel. So factoring, we have a trinomial, and there's no GCF that pulls out, so we're going to go right to the trinomial factoring. x and x, factors of 56, that give us a difference of 1 because of that minus sign. So we want to do plus 8 and minus 7 over x take away 7. Cancel the common x minus 7, and we get our final answer, x plus 8. 